Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Allow us to give you a presentation about Photograph Gear Store. For the first, uh, let me introduce about our project. In this project, we discuss data analysis using function in Microsoft Excel. And the title of the project in our group is Analyzing Data in the Photograph Gear Store. Data analysis in our project has a goal namely to find out the profit earned in 2021 and also the market interest in each purchase and in that year. Um, in our project, we do not discuss the stock of products because our shop is only a reseller of products. In using Excel in our project, of course, we use several functions according to data analysis needs including financial function, payment, future value, math, summary, mean, max, VLOOKUP, and average. And create spark line, trend lines, chart, and pivots, so that the result data analysis can be viewed and conclude easily later. Okay, so let's move on to the items table. Items table has seven columns, namely ID, item name, category, purchase price, selling price, installment program, and profit earn. This items table use several Excel function. The first one use the equal PMT function to calculate the monthly payment on an item. The second one uses the equal FV or future value function to calculate the future investment based on a set interest rate and the last function is equal fee lookup for items table this function is to make it easier to find item id along with price and installment price all right now let's move on to the transactions table transactions table consists of eight columns namely id items quantities sold in 2021 total sales sparkline highest sales lowest sales and average sales in the transactions table using the equal max excel formula on the highest sales to determine the highest sales figure per sale using the equal mean excel formula to determine the lowest sale figure per sale and using the average Excel formula to determine the average sales in each cell. Lastly, it used a spark line to display fluctuation or movement of a data. Okay, now the profit table. Profit table has 14 columns, namely ID, items, and the month from January to December. On the profit table, it contains the Excel function formula, such as equal sum to calculate total quantities and total profit per month. And lastly, profit table use a chart to see a comparison of profits each month and a trend line to see the highest numbers of buyer each month. For market interest, we've put in pivot table and pivot chart. So pivot table will be used to summarize each column of a big data. For example, you have 50 columns of data and you do not want to summarize every single column of that data. Therefore, you'll be using the pivot table to summarize each column of that data. And also, as a plus side, you can actually select which row of data you want to be shown. Therefore, it will actually gives you more convenience and save more time. And there is also a, ch a pivot chart which will be used to display your data in a chart and you can actually select which data you want to be shown as well based on that pivot table. For the overview about this project, the result of profit data analysis can be concluded that there is an increase and decrease in profit in 
2021. This can be the basis for setting business strategy later. In the analysis of market interest data, it can be concluded that the market attractiveness is uncertained due to even factor on its online market platform. Um, and it, it and it can also be seen where a lot of people buy at our store. This can be a strategy determinant where sales can be focused on several sales platform only by closing one of them or improving service on platform with low buying interest. All right, that is all. Thank you so much to our lecturer, Mr. Kevin, for teaching us this material, which is Microsoft Excel. And then thank you so much to our team, which is Mr. Muhammad Rian Adiantara, Mr. Farah Saka Muhammad Santoso, and myself, Owen Tanyikun. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.